22nd of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start with a nuclear event in South Korea. Off the RSOE, a nuclear reactor in southeastern South Korea went offline on Tuesday because of a glitch in the power transmission line, a state-run nuclear power company said. Korean Hydro and Nuclear Power Co. said uh, the Gori 2 reactor north of Busan, the country's largest seaport, was shut down at 10.30 a.m. when a 345 kilovolt power line experienced an overload. Electricity in one of the three high voltage power lines was cut off suddenly, triggering, triggering an overload in the remaining two lines. Uh, the company said the reactor's emergency power relay system kicked in, causing the reactor to stop generating electricity. The power line is used to send electricity from the nuclear reactor to a nearby industrial city of Ulsan because it was a precautionary shutdown of the reactor it was stable condition and there was no release of radi radioactive materials into the environment. Uh, but we have yet another nuclear incident, this time in South Korea. Over to the extinction protocol. Um, Mexico issues red alert as Category 1 storm. Beatriz grazes the coast. Uh, this is the Pacific coast of Mexico. A hurricane Beatrice is threatening some of Mexico's most popular resorts, leaving tourist shelterings in their hotels. The Pacific ports of Alcapoco, um, Mananzillo, and uh, I'm not even going to go, are closed. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said winds rose to 150 kilometers an hour, or 90 miles an hour, with the storm moving over the coast. Uh, the first Pacific hurricane formed earlier this month, causing no damage, but forecasters predict a busier hurricane season over the Atlantic. And again, it's just getting geared up. <clears throat> Kamachka's uh, Shovelts volcano unleashes another massive ash cloud. Uh, one of the major volcanoes in Kamachka's peninsula has belched out an ash to the elevation of 10 kilometers above sea level. Uh, sources at the Kamachka Affiliation of Geological Service of the Russian Academy of Sciences said today. A total of two series of uh, local seismic events lasting from 40 minutes to 60 minutes have been registered at the volcano. And again, this is burling large amounts of ash and um, debris into the air and uh, heading right into uh, the Fukushima madness, which is hanging right over the Pacific right there. Rare snow falls in the northern hemisphere on the eve of summer solstice. <clears throat> you remember, yesterday was the longest day of the year. June 21st, 2011, Colorado. The calendar says summer starts tomorrow in the northern hemisphere. The snow is falling in the mountains of Colorado. It tells a different story. A storm that has prompted a tornado watch across Nebraska and Kansas today are also left two to four inches of snow in the Rocky Mountains. Uh, it's unusual. Uh, the meteorologist said, here is the last day of spring. A winter storm advisory has been posted in the mountains of Colorado's above 10,000 feet until 6 p.m. local time. And again, this is the same big Lando cane that rolled through yesterday. Exodus from New Zealand continues for third month as aftershocks continue. Now, this is Christchurch, New Zealand. Uh, out of Wellington, a moderate aftershock has shaken the quake devastated city of Christchurch in New Zealand. Uh, the Christchurch Press says the main jolt late Tuesday night was widely felt, but no major damage was reported. It says power was out in parts of the city and four flights were diverted to Auckland while the Christchurch airport runway was checked for damage. And again, this is ongoing. Um, buildings down and, and just more and more devastation. And people are, are leaving the city in large numbers. I can't say that I blame them. Uh, Soros River Valley community braces for record flooding event. This is uh, Minot, North Dakota. And this is the Missouri River Basin. Disastrous, unstoppable, historic, unprecedented. All words used to describe what city, county, and state official warn as an imminent assault on all residents of the Suris River Valley. The highest flows ever recorded in the Suris are approaching a city whose defenses are destined to be overrun. Can the city hold? Dikes currently in place recently improving greatly to combat high flows 
are now expected to disappear under the traveling torrent. The amount of water flowing with a vengeance down the Suez River is forecast to inundate Minot to a level 7 to 8 feet higher than, than the catastrophic and benchmark flood of 1969. So again, we are breaking records, and all of this water is heading downstream past two nuclear reactors, which are already um, inundated with water to the point where they've declared emergencies. In India, concern mounts over extensive land cracks in the Uttar Parish region of India. Um, Hemanpur, India, long widespread cracks observed in several places in the Indo Indo-Gantic Plains could be due to motion of massive granite body underneath. An Indian scientist the United States has cautioned. It's my sincere appeal to the government of India to monitor seismic activities in the area before any major disaster takes place. Uh, Rasmus, I'm not going to slur his last name, who has extensively studied the seismology in the region, said the statement as a concern mounted over cracks being formed in several districts of Uttar Parish. If the, or if the orientations of such long cracks are in the east-west direction, then the cracks could be due to stress on the surface of the earth due to motion of massive uh, granite body, which is exposed um, near... Jansi said, uh, who's a senior professor at the Indian Institute of Technology and um, expanding Earth, basically. They're, they're having big cracks in India, and that's right on a major plate line. Uh, Earth changes got that nut. <clears throat> in Pittsburgh, heavy rain slams. Monagala Valley area, heavy storms pounded Mon Valley early Monday morning with torrential rains causing flood damage throughout the area, but mostly in General and Fallow Field. According to uh, the fire chief Bob Witten Jr., the Twilight Basin of Lincoln Avenue extension was hard as hit. We were out there for three hours last night, he said, uh, the worst I've ever seen in a long time. And a uh, big flooding going on in Pittsburgh. Iowa, unexpected storm in New Sheraton. <clears throat> People in the town of New Sheraton are cleaning up today after a tornado touched down the early Monday morning. The National Weather Service says an EF-1 tornado touched down around 5 a.m. No one was injured in the early morning storm, but weather that hit the small community in southern Iowa left half a mile path of damage behind. The strength of the storm surprised everyone, from residents to the National Weather Service. Sunday night they issued an alert, but only for winds up to 50 miles an hour. It was a shock to everyone when a tornado formed, bringing winds up to 110 miles an hour. And again, tornado damage, um, cars thrown, trees down, buildings. Uh, nobody was really hurt. <clears throat> uh, they've got the Colorado snow story. The minute North Dakota flooding. And... A generation of trees disappeared in the Great Western Massachusetts Tornado. Uh, for the past few weeks, we've been bringing you the stories of loss and destruction from the tornado that tore through the Western Massachusetts on June 1st. And I guess they've had some um, huge trees. I think that I've never seen a poem of uh, those beautiful trees that dotted the Places like Springfield's Court Square and Woodburn Mountain in Madison took generations to mature and just minutes to disappear. Of course, you know, they're going on with the tornado damage. Arctic region hit by a series of moderate earthquakes. 5.5 magnitude earthquakes struck the South Sandwich Island region, situation around 750 kilometers southeast of South Georgia in the South Atlantic early Sunday. It was the latest of a series of quakes to hit the Antarctic re region during the past 24 hours. And uh, that activity continues. And they've got a story of uh, happy feet. Emperor Penguin found far from Arctic home. A young Emperor Penguin took a rare wrong turn from Antarctic and ended up stranded in New Zealand's beach. For the first time in 44 years, the aquatic bird has been sighted on in the wild in the South Pacific country. 
Uh, local residents, Christine Watson was taking her miniature schnauzer dog, Mealy, for a walk on Picka Picka Beach on the North Island western coast when she discovered the bird Monday evening. It was out of the world to see, of course, and they uh, peppered it to the movie Happy Feet where, you know, the, the emperor penguin went off to save um, by dancing, blah, blah, blah. Sunspot Complex 1236, uh, we got a C7 class solar flare heading this way. Uh, not a big major deal since I've been covering the solar flares. Uh, so we're going to have some pretty pretty lights and some maybe some weather modification going on, some severe storms, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> but nothing really to panic about with the C7. It's the X flares you really got to worry about. And what's going on on the RSOE today? Let me get that rung up here. Of course, we get the flooding in Missouri, Nebraska, and Iowa, down the Missouri River Basin. Uh, forest fires in Texas. The flooding in China continues. <clears throat> More wildfires in the state of Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Florida. Um, the flooding in North Dakota. The nuclear event in South Korea, uh, tornadoes in Kansas, and um, of course the nuclear events in um, Nebraska, the Fort Calhoun and the Cooper nuclear power plants. Um, <clears throat> forest fires continue in uh, California, volcanic activity in Indonesia, flooding in the Philippines, heat wave in India. And of course, Argentina, um, all the wildfires in Russia, uh, they're going to another record year. And on and on and on, I will provide the link below, of course. Uh, if I've missed anything, please uh, attach your comments or your videos below. Enjoy what you can, and thanks everybody for your help.